What's up everybody? It's Nick with Who Dad Travel. Now we are at Coral Reef Restaurant uh, for our candlelight vigil. Vigil, vigil, vigil. Uh, dinner tonight. So we are going to, we've never been to Coral Reef, so it's a first for us. Uh, so come along with us. Let's see what we have. And it is, a, I believe it's a prefix meal, but we'll tell you. Uh, so come along, find out how we like Coral Reef for our first time ever here. And then we get to see Uncle Jesse, I mean, John Stamos, tonight do the candlelight vigil. So come along and have the adventure with us. Come on. As you walk in, there is a front desk to be able to check in with a second time. Uh, and then there are some benches up here where you wait for your server uh, or your seater. And then there is also off to the right, the bathrooms. So we're going to wait for the person to seat us uh, and we'll go to our table. Because I know there's no empty tables right now. So as you see, there is a giant aquarium on the side. Uh, it looks like we are not placed by the aquarium. However, I think Little Man can see the aquarium just fine from here, yeah. All right, Little Man has his, you saw a shark already? Well, that's because we have a pretty decent view of the aquarium. So Little Man has his kids menu, we have our adults menu. Uh, and this is a, it's not a prefix meal. So we actually get a starter, or I'm sorry, an appetizer, an entree and a dessert and a non-alcoholic beverage for this seating. Uh, so we are going to figure out what we want here and we'll show you what we have uh, and give you a complete rundown of how our dining experience is. Now, our, the person who sat us did say, you don't really want to be against the glass. You don't want to be against the glass because it is a little bit harder to see and to be able to actually enjoy everything. So being back from the glass is a little bit better. But I'm going to go check out what I want to eat and uh, we'll get back to you. For the kids, uh, here is the menu here for nine and under so that you get a drink, an appetizer, uh, the create your own meal, and the two selections for sides. And they also do get a dessert. We have received our lemonades. We got lemonades all the way around for our non-alcoholic beverage. Plus this is a pineapple bread with sweet citrus uh, butter. So uh, we're gonna tear into that and see how we like it. If you haven't seen one of my reviews before, you don't watch me eat. Trust me, it's not pretty. You really don't want to see it. I'll show you what we got, I'll eat it, and then I'll tell you how I like it uh, right after, and I'll also tell you how Little Man likes it as well. Or, well, he probably will, because he enjoys to tell you how he likes things as well. So, you see, I am a shark. he is really enjoying seeing the sharks and the rays. So, uh, so far, yeah, kind of a big hit uh, for the entertainment. Haven't had to pull the phone out for him to watch anything. Uh, he has been coloring on his menu here. Uh, well, let's see the coloring there. Uh, so overall, uh, good for entertainment. All right, let's dig into this bread. After the first taste of the bread, uh, actually I tried the bread before actually having the butter on it. Um, it was could definitely smell the pineapple. I love pineapple, so this is, this is not a bad thing at all. I didn't taste as much of the pineapple as you smell. Uh, it was kind of a little sweet, little tart uh, from that pineapple, uh, but then adding in the butter, holy moly, that was a lot of citrus. Um, really, overall, kind of a sweet bread, uh, but really good. Um, but if you're not into sweet breads and, uh, and sweet uh, butter, I, I may not like it. I liked it really good. Uh, we will probably ask for another thing because uh, little man is going to town on his uh, his bread. Hey, Bubba, how'd you like the bread? Good. Good. And I smelled it. You, you smelled it? Did you like it? Yeah, and I saw a hammerhead. <laughs> he is really, really excited about the shark. So I think you might get more updates of what's in the aquarium uh, than you will of the food. But uh, so far, get to win. Just got our appetizers. Here is little man's fruit cup. I got the shrimp cocktail. And then the wife got the seafood artichoke dip. So we'll let you know how all of these are uh, after we taste them. We have had our starters now. Uh, I had the shrimp cocktail. Uh, shrimp were very plump, uh, kind of like weirdly plump, actually. Um, no fishy flavor to them. Uh, the uh, the charred lemon, I kind of took away some of the, the tartness to the lemon, uh, which I personally like. Uh, and really, I wish the cocktail sauce had a little more bite to it. Um, was not a whole lot of horseradish sauce to it. 
Uh, a little bit of sweetness to it. Uh, you could kind of taste the Worcester in it. Uh, Worcestershire sauce in it. Um, it. It was okay. Um, you got six shrimp. Uh, so basically $3 a piece if you were paying for this normally. Um, I, I probably, if it wasn't on the prefix menu, I probably would not have ordered it. Uh, as for the fruit cup, hey Bubba, how'd you, how'd you like the fruit cup? Good. You good? What, what was your favorite? What was your favorite? The butter and the bread. Out of the fruit cup? Yeah. You heard it. Uh, so, uh, the way... Hey, you gotta love a four-year-old. Uh, so the wife had the seafood and artichoke dip. Uh, the 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 cracker, I'm gonna call it. It's bread uh, that was it's heavily toasted um, and a little bit dried out, kind of almost like cracker consistency. Uh, heavily garlic uh, and then the crostini. Yes, uh, heavily garlic. Um, a lot that actually almost overpowers any of the the dip on it. Uh, and then the well, the dip was a little fishy, I'll say. Uh, not as creamy as I was kind of hoping for, kind of like a spinach and artichoke dip. I was kind of hoping for that consistency. Uh, but it, there's a bunch of chunks of fish in that. Uh, so if you're kind of adverse against fish, uh, that fishy flavor, probably not uh, the appetizer for you. Uh, overall, were they still good? Yeah, they were. Um, I didn't have to send it back, didn't have to return it or anything. Uh, but overall, yeah, pretty pretty decent. So, uh, we now had our appetizer, and uh, now on to the entrees. All right, for the little guy, that is the junior steak with corn and also, well, another thing of fruit. Uh, I got the prime rib, medium rare, with potatoes and a chimichurri sauce. Uh, and then the wife got the mahi-mahi. Uh, so we will dig into these and let you know what we think. Uh, and I can actually smell, smell the cumin off of the wife's from over here. Uh, it smells pretty good. Uh, and we will let you know how everything is. We have now completed our entrees. Uh, and overall, very good. Um, a little bit here and there, kind of meh. Uh, my potatoes were a little hard, some of them. Uh, but the rest of them, really good. Uh, I did personally have to have uh, ordered creamy horsey sauce. Hopefully you can hear me. It's really loud in here. I did order some creamy horsey sauce, uh, which definitely helped. Um, I actually was really good with the chimichurri. I was kind of worried that it wouldn't be, uh, but overall really good there. Uh, the wives, um, I really actually enjoyed it. Um, I needed the sauces though. Um, the sauces that were kind of smeared on the plate really made the rice up just fantastic uh the sweet or the uh, street corn on top of the mahi mahi really tasted great uh and the mahi mahi was cooked very well uh nice and flaky no fishy flavor whatsoever now little man's uh steak was a little bit overcooked um but it's still good for a little guy did you like it buddy yeah and i saw a scuba diver oh there's a scuba diver now uh so as you can see the um the food, I, I'll look here when I'm done, buddy. Uh, so the food, not the hit for him. Definitely the uh, the background entertainment, uh, that is definitely the hit for him. Uh, the steak, his steak did still taste very good. Uh, the corn, really good. Um, just, you know, standard. Oh, that's cool. Uh, I gotta finish this though, bud. So the corn, we did put a little bit of the uh, citrus butter in, which made it a little sweet. Uh, but very good. And of course, the fruit cup. Well, you already saw him have one of the fruit cups. So overall, uh, the meal was very, very good. Um, we would definitely uh, order what we did again. Uh, not, not upset with any of it. So let's see how dessert is coming up right now. Our desserts have arrived and Little Man is having the Nemo and Squirt's Noggin Concoction, which they are referring to as a brookie. Uh, in other words, a brownie cookie uh, with a bunch of different stuff uh, on top of it, Oreo and uh, pretzel, uh, and kind of like, looks a little bit like a boat. And the wife and I both had the key lime tart, uh, and I really enjoyed the little design on it. Uh, you know, looks like waves. So we'll let you know how that is. Uh, to be honest, the wife already dug into hers, so <laughs> I'm gonna dug into mine and tell you how it is. Quick update on the desserts. 
Wow. I, I was actually really impressed. Uh, my key lime pie, super good. Uh, very tart, like a, honestly, like key lime really should be. Uh, so I enjoyed it a lot. How did you like your brookie? I, I think he was a little bit on a sugar high. Uh, yeah, but I won't be all crazy. <laughs> He's saying you won't be all crazy. We'll let you know how that actually comes out. Uh, overall, his his brookie was very good. Uh, really soft. Uh, he did have a little bit of a left. Um, so what? Actually, they brought us an extra cup uh, for him to be able to uh, to take it for later. Um, but going back to the key lime, I really enjoyed it. Um, I subscribed to the Dexter Theory. If you watch the show Dexter, uh, you're not supposed to be neon green, uh, and it should have the actual true key lime. Uh, overall, very good. Uh, the meringue on top, nice toasted. Um, it was almost like a marshmallow consistency, um, but very, very good. Um, the little waves on the plate uh, were kind of a, a like a blue raspberry. Uh, kind of hard to scrape up, but still very, very good. Uh, overall, very, I'm very happy with our selection. So, uh, so we are going to head out to our. Uh, we have an 8.30 showing of our candlelight, uh, so we're kind of excited to see Uncle Jesse do that. Uh, and we will let you know how that is. We'll show you a little bit about it. Uh, and I'm going to take a couple minutes to digest and give you the overall feeling of the restaurant uh, right about now. So we have checked out. Um, just a reminder, uh, if you're doing one of these prefix type meals, uh, your passholder discount doesn't count. Uh, so it was a little bit of an expensive meal. Uh, however, overall, uh, definitely a, a good uh, a good meal. Uh, and we do pay the premium, and we know that, uh, to be able to go to the candlelight vigil um, and not have to wait in line. So we understand that. Overall, uh, the, the meal was a really, honestly more fun and uh, a better meal than I thought it was really gonna be. Um, it was a little bit weird eating fish in front of fish. Uh, remember, fish are friends, not food. Uh, so it was a little, little, little weird doing that. Uh, but overall, uh, besides that point, um, fun. A little man really enjoyed watching all of the uh, the fish go by. I heard about every shark and every scuba diver uh, that went by. Uh, he also knows that. Daddy is a scuba diver. I've been a scuba diver for 30 years. Uh, it was a little painful to watch some of the people uh, go through the tank and touch the stuff, uh, touch the different reef parts. Uh, that was a little painful to watch um, because they really shouldn't uh, shouldn't do that. Uh, so overall, a really good meal uh, and a nice way to be able to see the candlelight vigil. Now, uh, you know, Uncle Jesse is an icon, so we definitely wanted to see him, uh, and this was the easy way to do that. I definitely suggest that you come and do the candlelight vigil if you're coming during the holiday seasons. Uh, it is an amazing thing that Walt started a long time ago at Disneyland uh, that I'm really happy, and it really gets you in the holiday mood. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give the huge thumbs up, smash that like button, if that you're into and of course hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified when i release new content and with that being said what do you say buddy good night good night and we'll see you real soon bye bye